Today marks the 53rd anniversary of the Orangeburg Massacre and the city commemorated the lives lost in an event the community says played a crucial role in changing the history in Orangeburg. News 19's Devin Johnson explains. This tragedy still reverberates uh, within the city of Orangeburg to this very day. Uh, it serves as a perpetual reminder of the sacrifices that were made uh, by so many uh, during the civil rights movement. Every February 8th, South Carolina State, Claflin University, along with local leaders reflect on the tragic shooting that killed three people and injured 28. This year's anniversary was virtual. Law enforcement did not even have enough respect for African-American lives that were lost at night to even put a crime scene tape at the site of the event. I started looking down on the ground and everything looked like a battleground. Cecil Williams is a civil rights photographer in Orangeburg. Williams says he was the official photographer for both SC State and Claflin when the Orangeburg massacre happened. He goes on to say the recent protests in the summer show similarities to the event that happened more than 50 years ago. I, I would be the first to admit that there's been many changes in America that has made us come closer to the ideals of freedom and justice and equality for all people. However, uh, as evident, in the recent uh, violence perpetrated towards African Americans, I would have to say that we have a ways to go. Today, SC State announced a monument is in the works to honor the three students killed. A start date or a completion date has yet been announced. And given the university's legacy and roots and the fight by justice, we are well positioned to take on a prominent role in the continued fight for equity and justice. In Orangeburg, Devin Johnson, News 19, WLTX.